Yeah. 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 Right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the uh, November Cabinet meeting of Rutgers Borough Council. Uh, apologies for absence, please. Uh, Councillor Mason, Chair. Thank you. Uh, any declarations of interest? No. Okay, uh, minutes of the last meeting held on 10th of September. Do I have a proposal for those, please? Councillor Moore, seconder. Councillor Edivine, all those in favour to accept those minutes? Thank you very much. Uh, item four, opposition, opposition group leaders, questions. If I could ask uh, Councillor Gray, please, to come to the chair. We, we're actually, we'll actually be the other side of the wall by next, by next. <laughs> and you'll have to ring us, Ben. <laughs> OK, that's great. Over to you. Thank you. Um, so with regards to the uh, Abbey Road Progress, uh, Abbey Road Depot Progress Report, the design code uh, DC 1.3 outlines the proposed housing mix for the site. Can I just ask how that's allocated? <coughs> Yes, the, the Abbey Road project proposes 76 homes with a good mix of house types uh, and those are to comply with our housing and planning policies of which 30% or 23 units will be affordable homes. Okay, do you have a further question? Yeah, so, yeah. so as a follow-up... Um, Given the aspiration of the developers to deliver 30% plus uh, housing on the site, is there, any, is there any way this can be adjusted to deliver more of the one to two bed uh, properties to address the local need? The proposed affordable housing mix comprises with policy eight, housing size, mix and choice of our local plan part one. And as detailed... As the detailed project design progresses, uh, the type and number of affordable homes can be reviewed, but always subject to the project's viability. Thank you very much. Item five, citizens' questions. I don't think we have any citizens' questions, do we? No. OK. OK, item six is the Upper Broughton Neighbourhood Plan. Councillor Rupton. Thank you, Chair. Neighbourhood plans, as we've heard before, are documents which give local people real powers to shape the future of their community. They contain policies written by the community for the community to try and shape how their local area may change over the plan period. Neighbourhood planning was introduced by the Localism Act of uh, 2011 and is recognised by the National Planning Policy Framework. The aim of the legislation is to empower local communities to use the planning system to promote appropriate and sustainable development in their area. But having said that, these neighbourhood plans must be in a general conformity with the strategic policies of the local planning authority. If a neighbourhood plan is made part of our local development plan, then planning applications within its area should be determined in accordance with both the Rushcliffe local plan and the relevant neighbourhood plan, unless material considerations indicate otherwise. To date, there are three approved neighbourhood plans in Rushcliffe, East Bridgeford, Radcliffe-on-Trent and Keyworth. This Upper Broughton neighbourhood plan has been promoted by the Upper Broughton Parish Council for the designated area of Upper Broughton Parish. It's been publicised, consulted on, examined by an independent examiner and considered by the Borough Council, all as detailed in the report and in the appendices. And this report is actually asking Cabinet to approve the examiner's recommended modifications, the decision statement and uh, the holding of a referendum. The final version of the Upper Broughton Neighbourhood Plan is set out in Appendix 3, but I don't propose to go through that in detail, but rather to say that the outcome of all of this is a recommendation that the plan should now proceed to a referendum. The format of a recommend rec referendum is set out in Items 4.10 and 4.11 of the report. Essentially, if more than 50% of those voting yes, then the Borough Council is required to adopt the plan uh, at a future, future full council meeting. If the result is no, then nothing further happens and the Parish Council will have to then decide what it wants to do. I therefore move the recommendation set out on item two of the report, namely, it's recommended that Cabinet A 
accepts all of the examiner's recommended modifications to the Upper Broughton Neighbourhood Plan. B, approves the Upper Broughton Neighbourhood Plan decision statement and its publication. And C, approves the holding of a referendum for the Upper Broughton Neighbourhood Plan, with the area for the referendum being the parish of Upper Broughton. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do I have a seconder? Councillor Moore. Thank you. The, obviously, a lot of hard work gone into this, and uh, having experienced other neighbourhood plans, um, there's a huge amount of work, and I commend the people who've uh, written it and, and put it forward. These neighbourhood plans are becoming more commonplace, and as Councillor Upton said, they give residents an opportunity to shape their and see their vision for the future of where they live, and is now becoming a very important part of the planning process. I won't repeat many of the comments because I, I can't say a lot more than Councillor Upton, but it's a good plan and I'm very happy to second the recommendation. Thank you very much. Any other comments around the neighbourhood plan? Okay, we'll move uh, straight to the vote then. Uh, so it's proposed by Councillor Upton, seconded by Councillor Moore with recommendation set out. All those in favour? Carried uh, unanimously. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much, gentlemen. <laughs> okay. I need to make a public statement at this stage that to move that under Regulation 21 brackets 1B of the Local Authority's Executive Arrangements, Thank Access you. to Information in England Regulations 2000. The public be excluded from the meeting for the following items of business on the grounds that they involve likely disclosure of exempt information as defined in paragraph 3 of part 1 of Schedule 12A of the Local Government Act 1972. 